Okay, welcome to my next presentation, and that will be a presentation relating to scientific notation. And that probably little clip or little comic book uh, image pretty much di dictates exactly what scientific notation is about. $3.6 million. You can see the words 3.6 million. That's really written in scientific notation. If we're writing it just in, I suppose, normal numbers, it would be 36000000. So today we're going to be looking at converting from a number with scientific notation to just a number with all the zeros. So let's have a look at this and I'll just jump across to what scientific notation is. Now, you can see here, if I look at the number 3.1415 and multiply that by 1000, my answer is 314.15. 100 can be represented as 10 squared. So, the number 314.15 represented in scientific notation is 3.1415 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2. In other words, 10 squared. In other words, 100. So this is just the standard, nota standard notation for scientific notation. So what we are looking at today is how we go from this format here to this format there. So without further ado, move to the next slide. Now, quite often you might see the number 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8. You might say, well, what's the significance of that number? Well, believe it or not, that is the speed of light. We much prefer to write the speed of light like this in preference to this. Yeah. See all these zeros here? It gets awfully long to write. Yeah. So we normally would say the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. What about this number? If you get to year 11 and have a look at physics or maybe even chemistry, you might look to see this number is the charge of a single electron. Now, I much prefer to write 1.602 by 10 to the power of minus 19 to this format here. Whoops. 0, 0.00000, you get the general idea, 1602. Well, I certainly know my preference. What is your preference? So, to convert from scientific notation to normal notation, what we need to do is when we multiply by a positive index, we move the decimal point the same number of places as the value of the index to the right. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's do some examples. So 9.8 by 10 or you might think of this as 9.8 by 10 to the power of 1. You can see the index, my positive index, is 1. So I'm looking to move this decimal point one spot to the right. So there you go, it becomes 98. Let's look at the next one. Now, 9.8 by 1,000. Now, 1,000 is effectively... 10 to the power of 3. Why is it 3? Look, there are three zeros here. 1, 2, 3. So, I look at my index, 3, I look where my decimal point is, and I need to move that decimal point across three spots. Now, I can only really move at one spot here. Now, when I need to move further, I'll need to throw in a couple of extra zeros. So, that will become, there's my first, there's my second, there's my third. Let's have a go at the next one. 9.8 times 10 to the power of 5. Again, where's my decimal point? Here it is. And I need to move the decimal point across 5 places. So that will become 9 
eight zero eight eight let's try that again nine eight zero 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 or nine hundred and eighty thousand so I've just moved this decimal point across five spots one two three four five all good now that is the situation where we have a positive index now we're going to look at the situation where I may have a negative index now positive index we move the decimal point to the right now a negative index is when I move the decimal point to the left so let's check this out 9.8 by well this is just point 0.1 now point 0.1 when I'm using indexes will be 10 to the power of negative 1 in other words 1 over 10 1 divided by 10 so I'm going to be moving this decimal point across to the left so here it becomes 0.98 now let's have a look at this one 9.8 times 0.001 now that effectively is 10 to the power of negative 3 you can see negative 3 because I'm moving if I move this across 3 1 2 3 so I need to now move my decimal point across 3 spots to the left so so here we go I've started at 9.8 I'm going 1 2 3 and then I'll put in a leading 0 to distinguish where the start of my decimal is let's move across to the next one 9.8 by 10 to the power of negative 5 so my index is negative 5 because it's a negative index I will be moving my decimal point across to the left five places so there we go there's my 9.8 I'll move across five one two three four five and there is my zero there the leading zero okay let's just do a couple of mixed examples just so you get the feeling of how we work through these so right let's try this one 9.8 by 10 to the power of 1. I'll just grab my pen. So 9.8, 9.8 by 10 to the power of 1. This decimal point here, because it's a positive index, it's going to be moved over in this direction one spot. So that will become 98. And that makes sense, doesn't it? 9.8 multiplied by 10 is 98. Okay. Let's move to the next one. So, look at that one. We'll get rid of that one. Now, let's look at this one. 4.8 times 10 to the power of 7. Now, that decimal point is going to have to be moved across 7 this way. It's the index is 7. So there's my 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Get the general idea? So 40, so moving across one will be, there's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, so there's my 1,000 point. There is my million point. So I could say this number is 48 million so let's just move to the next one I'll clear that one up and what's the next one this time 6.7 by 10 to the power of 3 so we're thinking of 6.7 by 10 to the power of 3 I'll be moving my decimal point across three places. So six is my first one. One, two, three. So this number here would be 6,700. And that makes sense, 6.7. If I said, what's six multiplied by 1,000? You would say 6,000. So let's move to the next one. There we 
go. Right, what about this one here? 9.8 by 10 to the power of negative 1. Now, this time, 9.8 by 10 to the power of negative 1. This time, because my index is negative, I'm going to be moving my decimal point to the left. I'll be moving the spot one spot. So this becomes 0 0.98. So originally it was 9.8, and I've just come across 1. Okay. And we'll just clear up those annotations there. Right, let's have a look at this one here. So, 9.845 by 10 to the power of negative 3. Again, negative, one negative, so negative index. I'll be moving my decimal point three spots to the left. So it becomes 0 0.1 2 3 9 8 4 5 So you can see if I started off with 9.845 and my decimal point was here I would be moving it one, two, three spots to the left. Let's see, are there any more here? And this is the last one. So, let's have a look at this 2.2 .2 by 10, power of negative 4. Alright, so I'll be starting with 2.2. .2. Since it's negative, I move to the left. So I need there's one spot move to the left, two, three, four. So that's where my decimal point will be. So if you're looking at here, 2.2, .2, there's one, two, three, four. There you go. So I hope this quick video has given you an appreciation of how to convert numbers which are in scientific notation back to a more normal form which people are more familiar with. So.